Welcome back to St. Teresa News. I'm your host, like always, Charles, and this is my co-host, Grace. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Yep. <laughs> so, it's been a terrible week. As of last week, um, a high of minus 50. Well, a low of minus 50. Anyway, uh, I just hope everybody survived the deep freeze. Our freezing was a bit bad this week. Yeah. Let's just hope Avery is not frozen after her weather report stuff because it's freezing out there. Anyway, let's get back to business. Here's your weather report. Take it away, Avery. Hi, guys. It's me, Avery, and your weather announcer. And congratulations. You guys survived the deep freeze. And it looks like it. we're supposed to have pretty good weather and it looks like we're supposed to have some outdoor recesses and remember to wear your toque your mitts your jacket and your snow pants and your fuzzy socks back to you charles and grace thanks avery now is our sports announcer writing take it away Avery. hey guys it's sports it's your sports announcer Braden. This week we're playing basketball. Grade 5 basketball team is starting this week. Grade 5 boys and girls come to the gym on Monday and bring your lunch for more information. And remember, this is all open to all grade 5s. Have a great week, guys. Back to you, Charles and Grace. <laughs> That was amazing. Anyway, so we have our new segment from the grade fives, the current events in Canada, and locally and internationally all over around the world. So today we have Leah and Olivia from Mr. Monks' class 5M. I can't speak. Anyway, uh, they're ready to share the amazing events they're having, happening, happening in Switzerland. What's Let's hear Switzerland? It. Oh, Switzerland? Yeah. yeah, Switzerland. Anyway, Switzerland is a country far away from Canada. I believe it's in Europe. I believe so. I believe so, yeah. Anyway, take it away. Hi, I'm Olivia. And I'm Leah. We're here to tell you about a new segment for St. Teresa News called Current Events. The information comes from CBC Kids News <clears throat> and we want to share. Did you know that there <clears throat> is such a thing as Olympic Games for youth? Wow, really? Yes, this year they are in Switzerland and more than 70 countries will be coming together to compete. It runs from January 9th to January 22nd. So neat. I also heard that the athletes are between the ages of 15 to 18. And the eight sporting events are skiing, snowboarding, ice hockey, skating, bobsled, skeleton curling, and luge. If you want to hear more about the games, head over to CBC Kids News. It's full of information and interesting articles, specifically for kids. Once a month, students from grade five will share you share with you a current event that happened. Back to you, Charles and Grace. Thanks, Liz. Anyway, maybe I'm just saying maybe one of us could compete in that one day. One day. One day. <laughs> anyway, now it's the things that are happening this week. The, it just, it's just a very boring month, so we don't have much to talk about. Anyway, looks like the grade one, two, threes, and fives. Not fours, fives. No fours, sorry fours, sorry fours. No harsh feelings. Anyway, have all presentations from our community members this week. And on Friday, Miss Frizzly will be here for a culture lunch. So, listen to the announcements for more information. 
a bite to be. What are those community people gonna talk about? Mm. So, good question. Anyway, our um, counseling team has set up some presentations for the ones, twos, and threes, and fives. Well, Grace, <laughs> is there anything else? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyway, no funny business, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in to St. Teresa News. Enjoy the week of the Deerfridge. How? Seriously, it's time to thaw out, guys. Don't freeze like us. Anyway, and remember to... Always like that path for others, guys. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.